guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I'm really excited. This is the very first monthly makes of 2024. This is my favorite little series that I've been doing on my channel here. And I'm just really excited to share with you all the things that I have made in the month of January. One thing that I'm going to start doing and I think I kind of want to do differently moving forward, specifically with these type of videos, is I think I'm going to add in like little short styling clips of how I would or how I intend on wearing these items. One, because I think it'll be good for me to have like a lookbook basically of how I can wear some of these things because sometimes I'll think of like different outfit combinations and then I forget because it's been, it'll be like a minute before I actually get around to wearing some of these pieces. But I think that'll be helpful. And I also think it'll just be fun to give you guys some ideas because obviously like I mentioned that part of the reason that I'm doing this series is because I want to be able to document all the things that I make like in the time that I'm making them because I want to see my progression but also I think it's a good way to show you guys some of the things I'm making to give you some inspiration and I feel like maybe it might help you guys out a little bit more if I also style some of these pieces a little bit so that is what I'm planning on doing from here on out just about everything with the exception of one maybe kind of sort of two items here are all things that I've made for the spring and summer seasons because a lot of times I'll make stuff in their season and then I rarely get any wear out of them. So to extend the amount of time that I'm able to wear these pieces, I think from here on out, I'm just gonna be making a lot of like summer clothes. So even though it's literally nine degrees outside, everything I'm gonna show you is more suitable for spring and summer. But I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and get straight into the things I made this month. These are the first two things and these are actually the last two things that I made this month. I have these scrunchies. I'm still on my scrunchie craze, okay? But all the previous scrunchies that I had were like darker, more muted, and like simple, plain, boring in color, if you might say. And I really wanted some like fun, vibrant colors that I'll be able to wear to like spice up my wardrobe and just, you know, put me in a better mood. I used to be someone who I won't say hated color, but I didn't wear a lot, if any color at all. And I've grown to have an appreciation for it. So I figured it'd be perfect time to like go ahead and start making some like more colorful, fun little scrunchies. So this one is my favorite of the two that I've made so far. It's super fun, red hot, vibrant. It's just a fun time. I feel like this scrunchie also kind of just like, like brightens up my whole aura like I have a nice fun little excited like heated vibe when I wear this like I actually don't think this scrunchie could get more perfect <laughs> I love it that much and then the second one that I have here is this really pretty purple and blue combination I think this one I made a little bit more uh, like scrunchy and ruffled of an effect than the red so I think it's a little bit harder for you to see the blue in this one so yeah, those are my two scrunchies. I'm really liking these. I think I'm gonna make a few more and some more like funky color combinations and then I'll be done. I, I think I'm actually gonna take a break with making scrunchies. But those are the first two things that I have to show you guys. Next up is the last thing that I think I'm gonna be making that will be winter seasonally kind of like appropriate and that is this balaclava. I think it was just last month I made a like little handbag with the same like yarn combination of like this sparkly and this little silver grayish yarn. I'm not gonna put this on my head just cause my hair, it's not really conducive to that right now, but we all know what a balaclava looks like. So this is what it looks like. I actually wanted to make like these two like connecting pieces right here, like a, a long thing so I could tie it. And then I was going to put a big obnoxious bow on the back, but I ran out of yarn. So maybe I will pick back up with that concept, maybe like midsummer when I'm getting ready for like my fall and winter wardrobe. But this is what I did manage to get done before I ran out of yarn. And I am going to have to go back and block this because it is a little, a little tight for how I would prefer for it to fit. And 
it's not because I did anything wrong this time. It's just simply because I was running out of yarn and I was trying to like, you know, stretch the yarn as much as I possibly could. So that is this. So the next thing I have here with me are these shorts that I made. These are a lot of fun. I really like these. To do these shorts, I just crocheted like a little encasement for a piece of elastic so it would be nice and fitted around my waist. And then literally from there down, it's nothing but a bunch of double crochets. And they kind of fit and wear like biker shorts. It isn't necessarily what I was going for in the beginning, but it makes the most sense to like have them be biker shorts because I don't want them to be like booty shorts, that's for sure. I don't hate the color combination that I chose. It's definitely not my favorite, but I am trying to get into wearing more color and you know, I don't know, just playing around with like what I wear a little bit more and just putting myself out there color wise. So this, this is definitely out of my, not comfort zone, but just, out of the realm of something I would normally be gravitated towards. So I am interested in like trying to like challenge myself on how I'm going to be styling these because this isn't something I naturally would have, you know, thought to do, make or wear. So for this first look, I decided that I would pair these shorts with my crocheted lace top that I made last year. And I absolutely love this top. I think it goes with everything. And for this specific outfit, I think it just gives it nice texture. But then for my second look, I decided I wanted a chill, like going out kind of a theme. So these shorts give me high key pajama vibes and I wanted to lean into their casual nature without making it look like I'm legit just wearing pajamas. So this oversized button up did exactly what I needed it to do. Next up, I have this top. Every single time I was working on this top, I was watching an episode of Singles Inferno. So if you would like to know how long it would approximately take you to make a top as such, it takes 10 Singles Inferno episodes. So do with that information as you will. I actually have an inspo photo that I can you know, put somewhere in here for you guys that I saw on Pinterest. So the thing that really made me gravitate towards this top when I saw it on Pinterest is the fact that it had this little like almost beading looked kind of effect around the top and like the hem line of it. And I thought that was really pretty and I wanted to play around with doing that. And I was like, you know what, what the heck? Why don't I just try to recreate the top? And this is what we got. Now, I will say everything about this top I absolutely love, except for these two little flowers that look absolutely ridiculous on this top. I I have to go back and redo this, but I can't, you know, I can't be mad at myself for trying. But they're lopsided, or not like, okay, maybe, yeah, no, they're lopsided. They're, they're just lopsided. Which I was aware of that when I was sewing them on here. I guess I just did it wrong. Like I physically put the top on me and I was like sewing it with it physically on me. Like I had enough sense to know that like, you know, it moves around a little bit. So I'm gonna have to like put it on to see exactly where I wanted to sit. But somehow I still managed to do it wrong, but that's okay. And the other thing is the fact that they're just so small. Like I feel like the size of them looks a little awkward. They definitely needed to be a lot bigger, but I wasn't feeling too confident with like trying to make the flowers a little bit bigger. I just, I don't know, I got nervous. So I was like, well, let me just leave them small. They can be small, I can put them on there. It's not the end of the world. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm either going to have to take these flowers off and reposition them, make bigger flowers and just replace them or I guess I could just make a few more flowers and just stick them on here and just let it be a full blown flower top. I don't know, but we'll see. I don't know, this this isn't this top's final form. It's gonna get some zhuzhing here and there, but this is what it looks like for now. The other thing I was kind of debating is that I made the sleeves like a little bit shorter so they come like 
a little bit above my wrist and then same thing with the bottom like torso part it's kind of cropped and I did that on purpose I wanted it to be that way but now that I have it I'm like I'm wondering if I should block it and let it just be a really like slouchy almost even like not distressed but just a really like worn looking type of piece I don't know I still got to think about it because once I go doing things like blocking it then I won't be able to get it you know short again so I'll think about that a little bit more but nonetheless I made it I like the color that I chose although I will say there aren't that many things that I have in my wardrobe that I think like pair that nicely with this color so might have to do some shopping or I might just have to crochet something to go along with it who knows maybe this will be like part of a matching set Next, I decided to pair this top with the shorts that I made because I really didn't know what to pair it with and I didn't totally hate these two together. I honestly don't think I would wear this pairing out so I'll have to experiment a bit more with this top. But upon further analysis, I did manage to find a pair of shorts in my closet that I liked a whole lot more, um, at least color wise. The only downside is that these shorts are too short for outdoor wear, but hey, it is what it is. And I put on my cowboy boots with it because why not? All right, and then the last thing that I have is actually the very first thing that I made this year. And it is this skirt. <laughs> Originally this was going to be, oh, I didn't weave in the end, so don't, don't pay attention to that too much. But originally this skirt was going to be a maxi skirt, but because of the way I went about doing it, I just thought it looked better shorter, so I kept it short. I really do like the colors that I chose for this. Um, this was actually my first attempt at doing a like elastic waistband, and I'm so happy at how it came out. I think I'm doing every single waistband like this from here on out. Like, it's just too good. But I love the colors that I chose. I think this little like mesh stitch has been one of my favorites as of lately, and yeah, I don't know. This was just a lot of fun. I don't know a lot of different ways that I want to style this. So this is definitely something I'm going to have to play around with. But I mean, you know, we'll see as the weather starts to get a bit warmer. And lastly, I paired my mesh skirt with this cropped white top. Honestly, I have no idea what else I want to style with this skirt. So I better get the experimenting. But I do love this skirt. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation. But that is it. That's all the stuff that I made this month. I hope you guys enjoy taking a look at these things with me. And I hope it gives you a little bit of inspiration on some stuff that you might want to, you know, take a look at and try giving a go for yourselves. If you had any favorites, please let me know what those were in the comments. And if you have any ideas for me on how I could style some of these pieces, that would be really helpful as well. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye guys. Oh yeah, and if any of you happen to watch Singles Inferno season three, please let me know who are your favorite girl and guy top two. I need to know.